Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Akavane101. You're probably seeing a gray or overlay screen right now. And I am recording this video with frap. Uh, not fraps. Wow, that was a noob way to say that. Recording this video with none other than XSplit. So as you can see, this is what I typically would do when I'm live streaming, but I'm not live streaming. I'm uh, actually filming is FTL. Oh yeah, we're playing some FTL. Now I have dinner in about 30 minutes, so this video is probably going to be cut up into like two videos unless I die in this one. Um, so the nice thing about FTL, it is a very simplistic game. If you don't know what FTL is, it's basically a spacefaring uh, game where you are a lone ship running from a rebellion which is trying to kill you and the Federation. So you're trying to stay alive by doing said things. Um, these, of course, are the Federation ships. Or, I don't think these are the Federation ships. These are actually the enemy ships that are chasing you. Uh, you get to make your own ship and all that good stuff as well. There's even tutorial stats and credits and all that. So let's go into options real quick. As you can see, pretty simple. Um, you can set up the full screen to be on stretch and all that. I believe the resolution of the game is 1280 by 720. If I am not mistaken, not 100% sure though. So if it is not that, um, DX Story may be cutting off a little bit of the content. And I will look at that in the video and make sure that's not working. Uh, so hopefully the audio levels are good um, and all that jazz. So let's get on into the game. So that's awesome. All right, so now this is uh, the beginning of the game here. You get to choose your ship and your crew. Uh, depending on what ship you pick, uh, depends on the crew that you get. So, obviously the Kestrel is a human ship, and this ship will have three humans in it. They are highly uninteresting, as you can see. Humans are common and uninteresting, and no exceptional traits. But you can also go to the list and take a look at all the various ships that you can choose from. Uh, in this playthrough, I believe we'll play as the Zoltan crew. These guys are pretty cool. If we hover over these guys, the Zoltan are close allies of the NG. Their innate energy is strong enough to power ship systems, provides power to occupied system, and maximum health is reduced. So these guys will power up specific areas of the ship that they are located in. So if this guy here was over in shields, he would basically power the shields. And the same as all the other stuff. Uh, we also have the Zoltan shield, which is kind of cool. Um, it's unexplained technology, apparently. Basically, all it does is makes it so you have an extra shield on the outside of your ship during each fight right at the start. Uh, oh, that's kind of cool. We kind of see one of those uh, aliens moving down to help build a ship. Um, okay, so in this game, you can actually get multiple crew. Uh, you only start with three, of course, as you can see. But you will be able to get others through slavers or through stores and stuff. Uh, mercenaries selling themselves out. Um, sell out for them to go ahead and do that. We also have achievements here, which are actually pretty important in the game. If you get two achievements per ship, you'll be able to unlock a secondary layout, which will either be better or worse for your playstyle. And it also, I think, changes the color of your ship. So we can also name our our ship. Now, I don't know what they call them in Canada, but I'm just going to assume that it's Her Majesty's ship. So HMS, because we are basically... Uh, I guess we're kind of under the same ideals or whatever uh, as Britain, but still our own country, I guess. I don't know. I don't know anything, man. I don't know. All the Canadians are like, you're, you're a moron. No one, no one loves you. Unsub! Unsub, yo! Alright, HMS... Yeah, I don't. I don't know. What should we call him? Derp train. Well, derp ship. Derp mobile. It's not really mobile, is it? <laughs> well, it's pretty mobile. Derp. Uh, it's a much derp. Uh, nice. Uh, all right. So that'll be our ship. Most likely, this ship will not exist for very long because it'll probably be blown to smithereens. Is awesome. You also hide the rooms as well, as you can see. Oh my god, my voice. My voice. This has been doing this in the past few videos where it just crackles and gets silly. Alright, we can name people Commander Akabane. Alright. And then, of course, we have Ashley Williams. 
and Kaden, and then go. Cause <laughs> for all you Mass Effect fans out there. All right, sweet. We have everything. Unfortunately, I don't think there's a female female version of this. Is there? Nope. It's, they're they're aliens. They're alien humans. Let's go with that. You also get the halberd beam and the Lido. Oh, they are so good. This is probably going to be a really difficult playthrough on normal. I typically would do this on easy, but we're going to go all out because I don't have much time. So I'm assuming I'm going to die soon, but I'll do my best to survive. All right. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the next before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. Tip. Augmentations. Your, she your ship can only hold three augmentations that provide unique benefits to a system, the crew, or the entire ship. Alright, so. Here is our ship layout. You control it just like an RTS. Um, and we'll be flying around the galaxy. You can open and close doors. We also have our commander, Agabin, in the front. And Ashley Williams will be going into the weapons, because she's a weapons girl. And then we have Kainalenko. I'm going to go in here and we'll unpause it. You can pause the game at any time with pressing the space bar. And I don't know how to save, to be quite honest. I think it's autosave, but I'm not entirely sure. I doubt it's autosave because, uh, I don't know. Hang on. Seems pretty good. And now we can jump. Uh, well, I guess we should go over the interface real quick. This is our hall. This is how much health we have. Each one of these is uh, one health point. You can't upgrade that. Um, this is our scrap. You can use that to upgrade your ship and buy certain materials, uh, including repair your ship, and buy things such as fuel, which is the... Uh, each time you jump, you use one fuel. Uh, each time you use a missile, you use one missile uh, per attack. That'll be the lethal missile here. I'm actually going to power up our weapons here. So uh, I'm just going to continue up here first, and I'll explain some of this stuff down here. I uh, also have drone parts, and uh, if you get a drone room, you are able to use drones, which can either uh, be assaulting robots on your enemy ship, defending robots, uh, drones that are flying around your ship and defending against missiles, or drones that are flying around the enemy ship and shooting at them, which is pretty cool. Uh, we have our shields, and then we have our Zoltan energy shield, which uh, will completely block incoming damage of any weapon type, no matter what it is, right at the beginning. And these are all one point of health, just same as the hull. Uh, this is always going to be there at the beginning of every fight, so your life should be easier. This does not regenerate, though. It's only per fight, or per, per, per jump or something. I've never seen this, like, go up. We have our evade percentage. Um, this will go up. Say we put Ashley Williams in here. That'll actually go up to 15%. And if you unman it, you get, that goes down to 10%. Manning weapons will make them more effective. Same with shields. And you need a pilot in your ship to be able to pilot the ship. Now, if you had someone in here, the invasion, of course, would go up. Uh, oxygen, that's this guy right here. That goes off or oxygen can start leaving. You can also vent areas by opening doors to the outside. Uh, this is the only venting location in the entire ship. So, I hate venting in this ship. It's like the worst thing ever. It is horrible. But anyway, then here's our crew. You can see that they are all corresponding to what they do. Um, we also have at the bottom left of the screen here the reactor. Uh, this is how much points of energy go into your ship and as you can see we have one point already in halberd and one point in shields because we have dudes in them and they power parts of the ship that they are standing in uh, you can deactivate and activate med bay and all these things you even turn off o2 if you're a horrible person um, in some cases that may be a viable strategy though so we'll deactivate our med bay since no one needs health and then we'll activate our halberd laser uh, now note that if we put our uh, gal in here. We won't be able to use the halberd laser. Actually, we will be. Alright, well, I don't really understand the point of having these guys. I think they're just a pain in the butt just to have, but we'll not worry about that for now. It just makes uh, power distribution a little bit more of a pain. Uh, anyway, we have two achievements we can get. We can either, by the end of the sector, get um, all 29 power nodes, or we can get to wave 5, and or sector 5, and only have these 5. Yeah, we're probably not going to be able to get either of those. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump. And go forward. 
into the abyss. So these are all the star systems you get to go to, and there's the exit. Once you get to the exit, you can go to another sector. This is sector one of ten, I think. So you can go to one of these four locations. I'm gonna go. I think I might go like this: one, two, three, and then go like that. So if you ever played Mass Effect before, it's gonna be just like that. You stumble across a forward scout of the Rebel fleet. All right. Power up their FTL drive. They're gonna run away and warn the fleet. All right, so we have an option here. We can either wait for them to run away or we can kill them. Now we probably wanna kill them because that would be bad if we didn't kill them. So as you can see, they have very similar stats to us. So we can't we can't see everything that they have, but we can see that this is a hall cutter. This can cut your hall apart. I don't know if it's actually called a hall cutter, but I, I just like to call it that. And then they have a standardized laser they now probably shoot two or three shots. You'll see lights light up here, and they will light up and do damage. Uh, they also have similar insides to them. Oh, it looks like they could actually teleport into my into my ship by using this uh, little beam me in Scotty's uh, little location here. So let's use our halberd laser, and we can guide it to do damage to a lot of things. So it's going to touch four rooms. It's going to touch the weapon room, the engine room, the shield room, and the O2. So hopefully this will kill them. We'll unpause the game and set this to auto fire. So now this should constantly auto fire. Now if it doesn't, that's just because I activate this before I activate auto fire. So as you can see, my shields are going down. We have two more uh, shields um, left there. But as you can see, we damage. We completely obliterated their O2 gauge, and we complete. Oh, looks like they're attacking our base. Luckily, we get upgraded shield doors, so this is going to be a little bit difficult for them to deal with this. Except for humans are a little bit more, uh, they're a little better than, uh, than Zoltan, than Zoltan crew. Anyway, put those guys over here. Alright, Elenko, you're fine. Go back here. And as you can see, since this person is inside here, she automatically made it so the medic bay was going to be a jerk face and absorbed by Halberd Beam awesome oh god that's not good they might they might actually get away because of that shields are down I'm gonna leave my stuff on the hover beam don't jump god damn it <laughs> that happened so now they got warned and they know where I am oh well it happens when you commentate and don't pay attention to things it happens anyway let's uh, attempt to download the ship's data it's probably gonna oh we didn't actually do anything? Wow. Okay. All right. I'm gonna let these guys repair because that's probably what I should have done. As you can see, the shields are offline simply because there's absolutely they're broken. They're half broken right now. They're at 50 percent health. As you can see, they're being repaired, and bam, they're repaired. You need two shields to at least have level one shields. Four for two, uh, six for three, and eight for four. You can have up to four shields, including the Dalton shield, which is kind of cool. These will really help us out early on in the game. Anyway, we didn't bug that guy. Ooh, we're in a warning situation here. This is the Federation trying to attack us. It is unsafe. It is unsafe. Ooh, got some remains. Cool. And that has showed us where everything is on the map. So I want to go towards places to have ships because I can kill them. And that will give me resources such as fuel and weapons and all that stuff. Attack the automated ship to get the storage cache. Yes, please. All right, I love the pals of the game before this. Um, so we can choose to kill the weapons first or the shields. Now, they only have level one shields, which means all I need to do is just use my halberd beam. That should be pretty effective anyway. So I'll do this, and then after that, I will deactivate the shields. Now, you may be wondering why am I not using the Lido? That is simply because I don't have the resources to do so. But I do have uh, missiles to spend, so if I ever want to remove my halberd beam, I can go ahead and do that. So as you can see, whenever they do damage to my Zoltan shields, um, the shields get thinner until it goes on down to my normal shields. Every ship gets the normal shields except for the Zoltan. Uh, I'm not sure about any other ones. Maybe they'll be able to get attachments like the Zoltan shield. But as you can see, now it's going down just to my normal uh, way of doing it. So now we have completely destroyed both the weapons and the command station here. Now, the thing is, this is an unmanned drone. There is absolutely nothing in here except for, you know, lack of oxygen and robot stuff. So, 
It really doesn't matter killing this. It's just getting you scrap and materials to upgrade your ship. And it looks like they are repairing some content within their ship. And destroyed. There you go. Obliterated. Alright, we got 14 scrap. And some extra scrap, including a defense drone. The station was apparently designed to outfit rebel ships with drone systems. Ah, okay. Very cool. So we can go to our ship here. As you see, look at your crew. We can have five more crew members. We can also lose all these crew members. Once you don't have any crew members anymore, there's no possible way to pilot your ship. Because you need a pilot. So, you are screwed. If you uh, lose all three of these guys. But anyway, we can upgrade our ship here. I don't know about you guys, but I love picking sensors because it's cool and I get to see what's in their ship. Um, a lot of people tend to not do this because it's kind of useless to them. I like to do it because it's hilariously fun seeing how their dudes just run around and fix all the fires within their ship, so it's kind of cool. Uh, anyway, so yeah, that's upgraded. Now we can see the interior of enemy ships. And next thing I should get probably is weapon control and another power bar to be able to power my ship a little bit better and get that medbay going. So I might just get that power bar right now. So medbay is constantly on. As you can see, I can't put anything into Lido because I only have three power bars max for my weapons. But once those are upgraded, then I'll be able to activate the Lido if I need it. It's a piercing shot, so it goes through level two and three shields even, I think. Uh, I'm not entirely sure though, but their evasion is probably pretty good when they have more shields. Which actually makes no sense because shields don't add evasion, but whatever. Anyway, let's go to the next uh, ship. I could go to the store, but I don't have any money, so there's absolutely no reason to go do that unless I want to sell the drone. It's a viable option, but I'm not too worried. Once you arrive, your screen lights up with a warning, and nearby pirate ship seems to have advanced hacking tools, and they try to shut down your engines. Your crew manages to keep them barely operational, and you move into attack. Alright, so this is basically means that our FTL drives are not going to be able to get up to snuff fast enough. be awesome. Let's see if I can get all four here. Yeah, as you can see, I should hit all four. So as you see, we have some aliens in here controlling this pirate ship. We have like one of those golem dudes. I love this shield though, it's so useful for the first volley of attacks. So it takes a while for the Hallard Beam to go uh, and get prepared. Look at them, scrambling to get back. We have a guy working on weapons, I'm, and this means that these can't be manned. Uh, working on their O2 gauge, but they're about to get peppered with another beautiful halberd beam. Now, once this gets to level two shields, or when the when the enemies get to level two shields, the halberd beam is going to be a little bit more useless. Shields holding achievement. I guess you only get new achievements every time you play through. And we got some fuel and some scrap. Sometimes enemies will surrender to you, um, but these ones decided not to. All right. Move on to the next location. The only ship at this beacon messages you. Finally, after months of waiting, someone has fallen into our trap. Alright. Let's go ahead and check this out. Alright, so that should hit weapons, engines, shields, and O2. Now, some may wonder why do you pause the game to do that since it takes forever for the Halberd Beam to even, you know, get up there. That's just in case the halberd beam gets all the way to maximum and I end up uh, messing it up somehow alright so their oxygen is gone as you can see their ships gonna start to go a little bit more pink and that means their O2 gauge is just slowly going down um, if we have level 3 surveillance you'll notice that there will be a whole bunch of uh, beams up here or little bars up here similar to this and I'll show you exactly uh, what they what they are using for power and it looks like our laser beam is probably going to kill them if we uh, if we don't let them surrender, and we'll not we're not going to do that. So there we go. So you see two halberd beams. This is normal difficulty, folks. So pretty cool, pretty cool. At least I think it's normal difficulty. I would assume it is because I'm not getting that much scrap. So pretty sure I clicked on normal. Anyway, this is only the first sector, though. So I'm probably going to get my butt kicked. This game is really hard, even on easy, uh, even with the Zoltan ship. So. Um, and I'm not entirely sure how to get you guys the Zoltan ship. You have to do a certain quest with the Zoltan. And they're like, we mean peace. Please spread the word so people know that you mean peace and stuff. And all that. Far out, dude. 
All right, so we have a defense drone. We can't really do anything about that. Okay, yeah, Zoltan Shield is an augmentation, so I'm assuming other people could get the Zoltan Shield. But it may be just uh, exclusive to us. Exclusivity for the win. So probably want to upgrade our weapons and get one more power when we can. Don't have that much scrap, though. I really wanted to go to this uh, distress beacon, but it doesn't look like we might be able to make it in time. Maybe if we do this, go down here. Like here, here, and then back up if we can. Depends. Depends on our distance. You can't upgrade how far you can uh, move your ship. As you can see, th there's no O2 within a scout. So it's an AI, of course. Uh, let's shut down their weapons and their command, I guess. I th I think that the uh, the laser only does damage per room. I don't think it does it like over time. So if you just have the laser go through one room, I don't think it does constant damage. But so as you see, it went two, two, and then it went two. So that's what I'm think. That's what I'm thinking. Anyways, so I think it's per room. Apparently you get an achievement though on something if you uh, hit five rooms with one laser, but the halberd beam is too small for that. Anyway, let's uh, get our ship's power up to level seven. And now we can activate the Lido, which would be our backup missile in case we need it. We don't really need it now, but once we uh, need to start deactivating their shields to use the halberd beam, it's going to be pretty important. Alright, so this is probably going to be a close one. Either I have to go down here to the stress beacon or get back up. The stress beacons are generally important though. They can give you quests or other various goodies. You, you follow the distress beacon to a small asteroid belt. You find a small ship struggling to maneuver through the field. They message you, help! Our shields are down and I don't know how much longer we can last. So we try and shield their ship with the oars and, or with our own and escort them out of the field. We'll see if that works. Oh, that sucks. You try your best, but one stray rock hits the key structure in their ship and it breaks apart in front of your eyes. Do you salvage what you can before leaving and try not to think about the lost crew. That sucks. All right, let's go this way. Oh, God. Uh, what's, what, what, what could work? Do you think this would work? I guess it wouldn't because there's no ship there, so. All right, so we're gonna have to make two more jumps to get out of here. Or, oh, this is getting really dangerously close. Uh, go for it. Risk it. Risk all of it. I don't even have a fourth crew member. Uh, oh, good. So we have a slaver ship here. So we can draw straws to give him one of our members, or we could just kill him, and then they'll beg, they'll beg us not to kill him. And then they'll give us a slave. Because that's how space pirates work. They deal in slavery. Beautiful. I swear, man. Alien slaves, extremely useful. Not gonna lie. Oh, as you can see, they also have uh, Zoltan shields. So we're gonna use Alito on their shields. Oh, actually, that's their oxygen, but whatever. Damn, I probably shouldn't have used that Lido because it can't actually penetrate Zoltan shields, so it's my bad. But now their uh, Zoltan shields are down, and wait for it. Shapow! Damn. All right, they're trying to power up their, uh, their ship, so I guess they're not going to give us uh, a pirate. All right, let's try and get that through. Don't evade. Nice. There we go. That'll stall them, so they can't escape. I uh, didn't mean to actually make that activate twice, but whatever. I think whenever slaves distribute, accept their offer. Is just that nice? And now we have a human. Ooh, they deal in human slaves now, do they? Cuban. Cuban? Cuban? I guess it wouldn't be Cuban, because it's... You're going to be Cuban anyway, because I don't want to call you Cuban. All right, Cuban, you get to go control the engines, because we need you. Pretty important. Free slaves. I'm okay with that. All right. Sweet. Now we got to get to the exit, which is probably going to be infested with uh, rebels. We arrived at long range with the FDL, FDL drive. It's charged, you can jump to the next sector. Uh. Oh, I can hire this guy. Ooh. I. I would love him to attack the rebels, but we don't have enough stuff, so let's kill him! It's like, well, we could help you. 
Mercenaries are worse than rebels. The only honorable course is to engage a mercenary in battle. Alright. I didn't really mean to hurt their feelings that much. Oh, crap. Uh, they have uh, robots, so we might want to kill those guys before they send one into our ship. Now when robots go into their ship, they'll puncture your ship and make it so the O2 in that area is going to leak. So it's generally not the greatest thing ever. Oh god, not good. Alright, let's launch uh, this thing here. There we go. So now they're going to give us stuff. So they we could accept their offer for two drone parts, one scrap. Uh, oh, sorry. Two fuel, one drone part, and 18 scrap. Including a defense drone mark one. I like that deal. So, we'll jump to the next sector, and we'll do one more sector, and then I will take a break from this Let's Play. Now, I don't know exactly when you can save, so I'm going to check when you can actually save. I think it's when you just jump to a new sector for the first time. Um, but I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, also when your ship is on fire. That's probably also a uh, good thing to point out. So you have a choice to go into two different sectors here. As you can see, you go across all these sectors until you get to the last one, which is the, you know, the final stand. Uh, we have civilian sectors, two of them. They're all color-coded. Nebulas are horrible, but they generally can have some good items in them. Um, the Zoltan controlled or the civilian controlled? Well, I feel dangerous, so let's go into the Zoltan controlled sector, even though we are Zoltan, so I guess we should be okay. The Zoltan patrol their borders, but let you pass when your ID as Federation. Let's hope they won't be so courteous to the rebels. Alright. So as you can see, we're in a nebula right now, and that means we can't see ourselves. Like, um, surveillance can't do anything. It can't even see what's in our own ship. It messes with all our, uh, technology. Anyway, I'm pretty sure I can save and quit. Okay, cool. So, note to self, once we get to the next area, I will go and do that. So we could go to a store. I think I will, just to sell some gear. The drones I really don't feel like I need, but, because it's so, so expensive to get a room. So this is one of the stores in the game. We're going to repair our hall. Actually, I'm not going to repair it. It's, it costs too much. We'll be fine. We can get augmentations, which are very expensive. So let's sell some stuff. We have defense drone and defense drone 1. So let's sell this guy because we have defense drone level 2. So let's drain that over there. There we go. Get ourselves some extra resources. So drone control costs 80. So if we are planning on getting that, it will cost 80 in total. Weapon pre-igniter, reverse ion field, protects your ship from ion damage, giving a 20% chance to negate in it entirely. Wow. Uh, an FTL recharge booster, the ship's FTL drive powers up 25% faster. That's if we need to run more than often, and I feel like that's not really something to worry about at the moment. So, I think we'll just get two more fuel. I like to have a 15 as a steady income, and fix everything. Then we'll go to our ship, and let's take a look here. What, sh what can we get? What can we get? I do want to upgrade our shields at some point, but I'm kind of just going to hold off from doing that. So I'm going to upgrade our power once, because I'm going to use that for something later. Maybe this. So, I mean, it's 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 undoubtable, undoubtable that that's going to happen. So we'll put one more point into our dodge, which will bump up our evade. And we'll put that extra power in there. Williams, why are you hurt? Go heal up before we move on. Now, I don't know if the rebel actually, the rebels actually advance while you're in this phase. I think they only advance per jump. Kind of like a turn-based style thing of that, so... I'm hoping... I'm hoping we'll be alright. Don't want to go over here. I'm not sure. I'm just gonna, I, I hate the nebula. I can't stand it. I can't stand not being able to see what my enemy ship is up to. So we have another ship with Zoltan shields here. Despite their precautions, pirates have begun to harass your local Zoltan settlements across the sector. One such pirate spots your ship and moves into attack. Alright, that's not good. Gonna help our people, man. Looks like they have like a slug in there. We can even see who he's named. Heinhardt. Heinhardt? Heinhardt? I don't know. I don't know if that's an H or a K. Because it kind of covers it. Garrick? Garrick? Man, Zoltan Pirates, what a disgrace. What a disgrace to my people. How dare they do that. Not that this really matters as to what I'm aiming at, because this is all going to hit the shield. But this will 
obviously hit something, so. So this is where uh, using laser beams will be a little bit better than just using uh, the halberd. And I have no idea what that was. That they shot at me. I think that was an ion cannon. That's this thing right here. That's what I'm thinking. Anyway, this should do some damage. Pew! Alright, so it didn't get to hit the weapons just yet. Oh, darn. Alright, you go help that out. Looks like they're canceling out our engines quite a bit. As you can see, there's a puncture in there. Ugh! It's not so good either. Alright, we could accept their offer, but we will not. And they will explode. Alright, we gotta quickly go in there. Alright, help them over here. The faster our oxygen depletes, the worse it gets. Alright, you gotta go get some health back. So do you. Alright, and our oxygen should hopefully fill back up in there. We should have O2. Alright, for some reason our power is messed up, so... That could have been purely because of something, I'm not entirely sure. I think that was because we activated our med bay. Alright, Williams, back in weapons. Lenko, back on shields. Beautiful. Alright, so this should uh, get back up to full oxygen. It does take a while unless you have it upgraded, so... For right now, we ha really don't have too much. I really hope we get a weapon soon, though. That'd be really nice. I generally get lucky with this ship, but today not so much. But we are we are only in sector two, so there is another thing to point out. A rebel ship moves in to engage. You attempt to open the communications, but realize the futility of the action when you see the ship is run by an AI. Those crafty AI that go invisible. Ah, invisibility is so good. I might want to get it myself as soon as possible as well. It's unmanned too, so that makes it pretty effective. See, as you can tell, it makes it so the enemy ship can't power up any of their weapons either. So, pretty awesome. Pretty awesome ability. There we are. There we are. Easy kill. Didn't want him to get any uh, hull damage shots on me anyway, so. Use one of my missiles. Alright, we'll jump over to the store here. I want to see what the store has. Maybe they have a weapon that I could possibly buy. Weapons are fairly expensive, though. And doesn't look like they have anything. They have an anti-ship. This is a, seems to be a very... Uh, what do you call it? Repair drone. Drony style shop. Very drony style shop. Uh, we can also sell some stuff. Doesn't Don't have anything to sell, though. We can either get a crew teleporter or drone control, but we don't have the money for it. So let's fix everything. And head on our merry way. Ooh, distress signal. Hmm. Oh, we'll go like this, and then we'll go eh, into the exit. Okay. So far, so good. You come to a quiet part of Zoltan space and encounter an ancient Zoltan wise man who has managed to harness the power of spatial rift, but seems to have been driven completely mad by the power. Choose your doom, he demands. This is all part of the day's work. Oh my god. So, this is probably choosing who gets to go onto my ship, huh? Mantis Slug or Rockman Slug, I guess. Do not be fooled, Federation. By a soft underbelly, you detect a wormhole opening. Oh god. A few seconds later, a slug ship is attacking from the other direction. Uh, wow. Level 2 shields and everything? Not cool. Alright, gotta take out those shields as soon as possible. Because uh, level 2 shields is bad. There we are. Now we're gonna be able to do damage with this. Alright, let's take out their O2 and their weapons. Alright, that should be good. Do another attack on their shields. Try and cut through there. Gonna hit one more time with that. I know it costs a missile, and I know that's always a pain in the butt, but it's worth it. Alright, let's try and hit that there. Come on, come on. Good thing our shield's awesome. Pew! Come on. Pew! There we go. Alright, one more attack should do it. 
I'm gonna make sure it's on the shields. Hopefully that guy is not good at repairing. Not entirely sure though. Oh, hey, deplete our shields. Come on. There we go. Kill! Alright, we salvaged some parts. When you see him, when he sees you have emerged victorious, the Zoltan wise man enters a rage. Rifts threaten to tear space apart until instead the Zoltan implodes, sending a blast wave of scrap and salvage dragged here from distant worlds in your direction. Wow, okay. Well, he exploded. <laughs> Why did I explode? <laughs> uh, Dragon Ball Z reference. Anyway. I guess that'd be a bridge reference. Whatever. Anyway, to the next area. To the next zone. Tip top to you. A light asteroid field is entering the atmosphere of a nearby planet. A firework show on a galactic scale. There's little for it, but to take in the ambience and program the next jump. Alright, go to the distress beacon. Good stuff. Looks like we're going the right way. Aha, an energy ship. Hello, we used our FDL fuel to jump to the station. They negate a burnt out husk of debris and warped metal. As you can see, the war must have spread to the sector. We've been stranded ever since. Get them some fuel. Oh. That's a lot of fuel, but I'm nice. Some scrap. Okay. I guess that pays for fuel back, so... Sometimes it's a risk-reward, man. Risk-reward. Alright, jump to this one, and then we'll jump to the top one, and then right, down, and down. Speaking contains crap. That's what it contains. Crap! I'm gonna fire that as well, just cause. I mean, I know I don't really need it, but they do have an ion cannon. Alright, that's all I need. Ender's gonna attack me with an ion cannon, that's fine. It only does damage to my shields, so... I'm not gonna worry about it. Oh, there goes our Zoltan shields and our normal shields, that's great. As you can see, they turn off for a little while. Ah, there we go. See, look, it just, it just does damage to the shields. I don't even think it does damage to our actual ship. And dead. There we go. Ooh, more scrap. Great. We have lots of scrap right now, but we don't have anything to use it on. So I guess we, if we if we get the chance, we're going to get some uh, cloak, if we can. Alright, hopefully, the, the fleet seems to be mainly down at the bottom here, so hopefully this final home stretch will get us there. Actually, we'll see. We'll see what we can do. I don't know, I really want to, I really do want to go here. I don't like missing places. But that's what this game forces you to do. Oh, damn it, it's an asteroid field. I guess I shouldn't have gone this way. Arrive in an asteroid field and are greeted by a Zoltan guard by attempting to access these claim closed mining fields. Oh damn it! I have to kill one of my own brothers. That ain't cool. That ain't cool at all. Foolish. You are foolish. Luckily, there are asteroids that should help us out in our ability to cut through everything. Ah! Damn it! <laughs> Ow! Oh god. Not cool. Not cool. Damn it, Cuban, get up there. Prepare that stuff. Damn it, they disabled our oxygen supply. Get up there. There we go. He's dead. Damn. Oh god. All right, good. He's fine. All right, you go help him, and you go help him. I hate this place right now, but I don't want to leave. We need someone on shields. Get back on shields. Alenko. Alenko, get back on shields. Holy crap. We need you powering those shields in case there's any more rocks hitting us. Alright. We got Williams back here. Cuban back here. Oh, we still got to power up our FDL. Oh, that was a good miss. Alright, come on. Power that up. Oh, God. Oh, God. Power. There you go. See, see what I mean by having people on shields? It's great. But we do need level 2 shields as soon as possible. Uh, I probably have the resources to do it, too. I don't know, man. That cloak just sounds even better. Gives you plus 60 evasion. Anyway, uh, oh, we're able to jump. Ha, <laughs> good. All right, this way. Should barely make it. Discover a rebel scale. It's fine. 
Yeah. I'm gonna hit him with the Lido. Anyway, it's good. I, I generally get a lot of missiles. If I have plus 10 or more missiles, I feel pretty good about it. Alright, looks like they're just gonna be using their laser cutter. Not exactly a good thing, because that thing starts fires. There we go, now they can't even use that. That's good. I don't mind it when they can't use stuff. This is my arm on a Skyrim box right now. Give me a little pinch. It's like, ow. Alright, the ship explodes. And gives me two missiles. Look at that. Alright, now we're back at 14. Sweet. Excellent. Alright, two more jumps and we're out of here. And I can stop this, uh, this part one. Because I feel like we've been recording for a while. There are a few more zealous in their costumes checks than the Zoltan. A team of border police beam on board. There's just a little confusion over your weapons license. But things escalate rapidly from heated discussion to gunfire. Oh god. You don't know how the intruders manage to get past their Zoltan energy shields. Maybe because they're Zoltan. Maybe because they're Zoltan. God. Oh my god. Four of them? Jeez. Dude. Dude. Unfair, bro. Oh, this is gonna be bad. This is going to be brutal. Damn it, I'm going to take out my communications and stuff. Oh, God. Not exactly a good thing. Alright, get the hell out of here. Get the hell out of here! Got to do something to get rid of those shields. There you go. Ah! No, no! Ashley, get out of there! Damn it, they're breaking our shields. This is not good. Not cool. Get in there. Pew, 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 pew. No, no, no. Get out, get out, get out. Run! Run! Get out! Uh oh. Oh, this is not good. Oh my god. Attack! Oh god. Attack! Attack, damn it! Ah! Ah! Yeah! No! Ah! Cuban! No! It's up to me! Do it! It's up to me! Kill them! Kill them all! Oh god. Oh god! Oh god, the ship's on fire! Oh god! Oh. Put it out! Ah. 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 Everything's on fire! Oh god, panic! Panic! Uh. Uh. Oh god, I gotta air out the ship. I gotta air out the ship. It's all up to me! Commander Akabane! Airing out! Oh god, the O2 is all gone! It's airing itself out. It's like I got this. Shoot. Shoot! Ah! Explosion! I regret nothing! Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> well, I guess we didn't need a save now, did we? Well, thanks for watching, everyone. Let me know how you enjoyed this series. Damn! I got my butt kicked by that ship. Damn! Four Zoltan police officers jumped on my ship and killed my Zoltan crew. How dare the corrupt government? I think so. Anyway, other than that, if you guys want to see more, click the like button below, comment, let me know what you guys thought, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good one.